today we will discuss about the embryonic evidences so this is the next video related to the interpretation of the organic evolution so in this video i will discuss some example correlating the different in case of different animal showing the embryological evidences so firstly early development in animal so if i discuss about the early development all the animal are developed from the single cell that is the zygote it occurred by the fusion of the male and female gamete sperm and ovum it formed the diploid structure that is the zygote after that is cleave in many cell from the cleavage from blastula then gastrula then three germ layer then the fate of three germ layer is destined form in a different type of the organ so first evidence is the similar early development in the animal next is the resemblance among the vertebrate embryos so if i discuss about these with this diagram you can very easily understand what i am trying to say this is the fish early embryo this is the salamander embryo this is the tortoise this is the chick this is the rabbit this is a man you can never distinguish between these embryo from their early stages from very beginning of their life of the embryony so it showed that they have the common ancestry but later on when this uh, gestation period extend the demarcation and differentiation in them occur so it show very very useful feature the resemblance of the among the vertebrate early embryo i hope this is very helpful for you next is the modification of similar embryonic structure in different function so it is very easy and common thing you can see the if i discuss about the modification of the pharyngeal gill pouches so gill slits yaws vertebrate in the fish it become um, becoming the gills in the frog it becoming the laring cartilages stapes and in the man it is found in the larynx so it is a sound box so it is a modification of the gill pouches also other modification is the gill slits changing in the lungs in the air breathing animal changing in the gills in the aquatic respiring animal changing in the vaco pharyngeal cavity and the lungs in the amphibian so there is very useful modification so if we discuss about the fifth pharyngeal arc a yaw race the second arc in the step to conduct the sound wave the fifth arc develop a part of cartilage port of the larynx and the first pharyngeal port modification in the middle ear and the station tube in the man the first pharyngeal arc form the two ear ossicles in the man they are the malus and inca so malus and inca develop from the first pharyngeal arc to conducting sound the second pharyngeal arc change in the third ear ossicle the stapes the fifth arc develop into the part of cartilage uh, cartilage port for the larynx and the first pharyngeal pouch is modified into external auditory canal middle ear station tube this example show the evolutionary process is opportunistic its modification it modify the existing structure for the different role in new environment so there is no room for modification in the organism in the theory of special creation so what is the meaning of this discussion the modification of the similar embryonic structure have changed according to the lifestyle and requirement of the animal so it is very useful also next is the similarity among the invertebrate larvae if i discuss about the trochophore larva of mollusca and annelida and tonaria larva of the hemichordata so it show very very useful features it show very useful and uh, similar features similarity tornaria larva of hemichordata and bipinaria larva of cynodermata it also similar and the trachophore larva of annelida mollusca also similar so they have sensory cilia they have the coleopore they have the esophagus mouth stomach so they have two type of slum so it's also showed that the annelida and mollusca and hemichordata may have sometime uh, in the evolution they may have common ancestor also with the cynodermata next come here the biogenetic law or the recapitulation theory 
ਇਟ ਸ਼ੋਡ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਓਟੋਗੈਨੀ ਰਿਪੀਟ ਦਾ ਫਾਈਲੋਜੈਨੀ ਓਟੋਗੈਨੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਐਨੀਮਲ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਈਲੋਗੈਨੀ ਦਾ ਐਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਰੀ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਐਨੀਮਲ ਸ਼ੋਇੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਐਂਡ ਕੈਸਟਰ ਸੋ ਫਰਮ ਮਾਈ ਥੀਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਯੂ ਮੇ ਹੈਵ ਦਿਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਲ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੂਡ ਦਾ ਰਿਕੈਪਚਰ ਥਿਊਰੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਬੋਨ ਬੀਅਰ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਸ਼ੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਮਾਰਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਐਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ so digot is um, very much formed in the all the form of the animal blastula gastrula also have formed but there uh, occurred coelometa a coelometa three germ layer two germ layer diploblastic triploblastic according to their need and their evolutionary trends so genetic basis of the recapitulation theory so it is also very similar sim- simple the genetic basis here show that uh, according to the demand the gene may have developed and the other gene that have occurred very much full flesh manner in the castle may have no role in their advancing progeny and they may have vestigial or modified so it is the genetic base of the theory of the recapitulation next is the progressive metamorphosis progressive metamorphosis is the larva is primitive and adult is advanced it show the progressive metamorphosis uh, metamorphosis such as in case of the branchistoma and amphibian frog tadpole larva and the adult is full flesh coded retrogressive in the hardmania adult is recessive as compared to the larva is more advanced larva show in hardmania very coded feature what the and the even uh, what the adult hardmania don't have so much demarcated feature of the codate sapulina sapulina is a parasite living dental surface between the cephalothorax and abdomen it consists mainly of the soft ovoid sac with a short stalk that stand the root like processes in the host body during the nourishment sit like limb elementary canal but the larva have full fleshed uh, uh, abdomen as it was free living hardmania i have also discussed so it show the progressive and retrogressive metamorphosis from my these examples last embryonic evidence is the temporary non functional organic structure so temporary embryonic structure may have formed such as the teeth in the words carnical teeth are called they are meant for the uh, breaking the shell of the egg they don't have any function whale may a uh, whale embryo also have the hair what they are dis- vestigial after the adult life also developed on the various anatomic structures such as the fishes heart amphibian and reptile heart fish have the two chamber heart amphibian have the three chamber heart reptile three and half bird and mammal have four chamber heart so if i discuss about the starting in early it is two chamber heart in all cases then it modified into three chamber then three and half then four chamber so it also give us very very close relationship between different animal phyla and very helpful example interpret interpreting the organic evolution i hope friend my this lecture will helpful for your understanding the embryonic evidences of the evolution and you will surely like this video if you have any query any doubt related to my words related to my topic you can comment independently you can suggest to me what should i improve and you should also uh, suggest me which type of video you demand from me thank you very much and have a wonderful day